Hey guys, Joseph Robert Camo, the fantasy football counselor. Big episode today. We're talking about five rookie wide receiver sleepers. Yes, there's a ton of value at wide receiver this year. You can wait on wide receiver, get some value. And believe it or not, there's some rookies here that could really break out and there would be immense value for you guys in your fantasy football 2021 drafts. Big episode, five wide receiver sleepers, and this is going to prove that you could wait on a wide receiver and get that potential breakout because everybody's looking for that next Justin Jefferson. These five could potentially have that type of upside, okay? Before we get into this, guys, head over to manscaped.com. Use promo code SHOWERLINE. Save yourself 20%. Amazing product, Lawnmower 3.0, 4.0. They've got some amazing packages there for Father's Day. Head on over to manscaped.com. Use promo code, promo code SHOWERLINE. Save yourself 20%. And, guys, big announcement. If you guys want to beat the counselor, yes, beat the counselor, DM me. This is the first time I'm talking about this sneak peek, guys. DM me the word beat because you want to beat the counselor, B-E-A-T, on my Instagram, Fantasy Football Counselor. I'm doing a best ball league free to enter. There's going to be huge prizes for that. Now, this is different from the Listener's League. So to enter for the Listener's League for a chance to be in that 12-person, one-point PPR where I'm hosting, that's separate. You got to uh, pre-order 16 rounds, guys. So for, that's for the Listener's League. And then I've got the Best Ball League, which is free to enter. All you got to do is DM me the word BEAT. The link is coming soon, so you guys can enter, draft your team, and there's going to be a huge prize, about $1,000 worth prize. I don't know what it is. We might have, you know, it's so going $1,000 worth, so it might be like an $800 prize and a $200 secondary prize. We might give away... Uh, assigned Mahomes helmet. I, I'm still trying to decide what the grand prize is going to be, but it's a free best ball league. DM me the word beat on my Instagram, okay? So let's get to this, guys. First wide receiver. By the way, smash thumbs up. Helps the channel. Takes two seconds of your time. Smash that thumbs up and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed yet, I don't know what to say. So many people are coming to me. They're like, oh, Joe, I discovered your channel. I can't believe you weren't there. I, like, you know, I, not that you weren't there, but I can't believe I didn't know about you. And, and I've been listening to the sheep rankings. I'm so grateful you're here. I'm so sick of the sheep. I'm sick of the cookie cutter rankings. So make sure you guys subscribe. It helps my channel, but also gives you that content that's going to give you guys that edge over the competition so smash that subscribe button very very important okay all right first wide receiver guys sleeper when i say sleeper with these guys i mean their value is so good like i look at the consensus rankings and i don't use the consensus rankings to actually help me with my rankings i use the consensus rankings because i can see all the mistakes and that's when i'm able to capitalize and draft these guys for immense value so the first guy is i know it's a little more obvious here but jamar chase Six foot, 201 pounds. First round pick, guys. He was a first round pick for the Cincinnati Bengals. Fifth overall. The Bengals obviously believe in him. Joe Burrow's coming back off injury. Young, dynamic talent. Could be an exciting offense here. He does have Boyd and Higgins to contend with. Higgins, I thought, would have been a great sleeper, but they drafted Chase, so they're going to utilize him. Listen, this guy you can get literally as your wide receiver three, four on your team that has that wide receiver one upside. This is all predicated on Joe Burrow. Now, again, Joe Burrow, young dynamic coming off injury. We don't really know. He's shown some flashes that he can be good. So, and they have improved the O-line. So I'm, I'm just looking at Jamar Chase and saying, saying, why not? Why not grab him, right? He could be the one, could get the, a, b- a bunch of targets and it could be exciting. So Jamar Chase, <clears throat> the first sleeper. Second one here is a little bit of a deeper sleeper here, currently sitting number 77 on the consensus rankings amongst wide receivers. Now, here's the deal. When I look at wide receivers, I look at opportunity, I look at the depth chart to see if there's anybody else there that's going to be a factor. Now, we last year I scoped out Justin Jefferson and I suggested he was an eighth round pick in the 16 round draft solution. Why did I do that? Because I saw the opportunity, I saw a void there, Diggs was gone, Jefferson looked good in college, and this was an opportunity. So I'm looking at this situation and seeing there's an opportunity, but there's a ton of question marks due to the due to the young rookie quarterback. But the Jets, the Jets have zero wide receivers, right? They, they, they have nobody there. Corey Davis, he wasn't the one, right? He was never a one. Crowder, Mims was drafted a year, year ago. It didn't really do it, right? Now, if I look at Elijah Moore is the next guy I'm talking about, which is number two here. He was a second-round pick, drafted 34th overall. This is a guy out of Ole Miss that can get it done. Statistically looked okay in 2020 with over 1,000 yards, 1,193 yards, eight touchdowns. So there is some sort of traction there statistically, but what I'm looking for is the fact that he was a second-round pick. He's drafted, drafted with high draft capital, and the upside is there, and there's no other wide receiver there. Again, I don't believe in 
uh, Corey Davis or any of the other guys there. And I could be wrong. It all depends on who the quarterback is going to gravitate to with the Jets. Rookie quarterback, we don't know. But I am looking at the situation. And again, literally, like there's no one else that's going to contend here. And the opportunity is there. So again, immense value. You get these guys later. You stash a bunch of these guys. And, you know, you've gone robust RB. You've anchored your team with an ace quarterback, which I talk about in the 16-round draft solution. And you get some of these wide receivers for immense value later on that could have that upside to be a wide receiver two, wide receiver one upside on your team. Why not? You're getting them for absolutely free, okay? The third fantasy football wide receiver rookie sleeper I've got here is, uh, this is a, a little more obvious, but Devontae Smith, round one pick, 10th overall. Uh, they've got Rigor and Felgum there with the Eagles. Uh, Jalen Hurts is going to be in a quarterback competition with Flacco. I don't know how that's going to pan out, but it hurts. Hurts should be the starter. The problem is I don't trust Hurts, a running quarterback that hasn't really proven himself in the NFL. Devontae Smith, obviously high draft capital. Eagles are going to use him. And the depth chart isn't hard to surpass. You're passing Rigor or Felgum. Uh, Devontae Smith is special talent, right? So you look at Devontae Smith, you look at Jalen Hurts, you look at a situation where, you know, we don't know. Like, Jalen Hurts is not proven in the NFL. Now, in college, they looked great. But how are they going to look together in the NFL? That's a big question mark. Again, Jalen Hurts, I'm not really sold on him, but there is an opportunity there. But Eagles, always a question mark. But Devontae Smith, definitely a sleeper. A guy that, again, you can get for value, you know, in your drafts that has that wide receiver one upside, okay? But it's all predicated on this connection here in the NFL particularly. All right, the, the fourth sleeper here is Am Amon Ra St. Brown. 5'11", 197 pounds out of USC on the Detroit Lions. Fourth round pick, that's the spec specifications on him. Played six games in 2020, but in 2019 had 77 receptions, 1,042 yards, six touchdowns. So the stats aren't astronomical. This guy's slated to be a slot receiver for the Lions. That's the, the good news is, the real good news is, yes, he was a fourth round pick, not as exciting. And you're thinking, okay, well, maybe he's not going to be that good. But remember, there's a lot of receivers in the NFL that did well that weren't necessarily a top 10 pick in the first round, Antonio Brown being an example. So you look at a guy that's fourth round, Amon Russ St. Brown. Listen, the Lions have no receiver. Goff has got to throw to somebody, right? Who's he going to throw to? Is it going to be Amandola, Perriman? I'm not sold on that. Now, I do love TJ Hawkins in this year because he's pretty much the only receiver, but I mean, there's a huge opportunity for Amon, Amon Ra St. Brown. Hopefully I'm pronouncing it right. But this guy, I mean, he is in a situation where he would absolutely crush it based on volume opportunity. And we got to see what the talent is there and that connection with him and Goff. I don't know. that That's the big question mark here. And that's going to predicate how this is all going to work. But the Detroit Lions, an opportunity. There's no other wide receiver there. St. Brown, take a look at him. Super value. Currently sitting 87th on the Ken Sheepsis rankings. Nobody's talking about this guy. I'm going to stash him. Opportunity right there, okay? So we talked about Jamar Chase, Elijah Moore. Uh, we talked about Devontae Smith all being in great opportunities. We talked about Amonra St. Brown. Next guy I want to talk about, the last guy, is Jalen Waddell with the Miami Dolphins. A lot of this is predicated yet again on Tua. Am I sold on Tua? I think I like Tua a little bit more than Hurts. like the opportunity there. Jalen Waddell, first-round pick in the NFL draft, six overall. They've got Fuller, they've got Parker, they've got other guys there to contend with. Is that going to be an issue? It all depends on who Tua gravitates to, which probably could be Waddell. The talent is there. I'm just not sold particularly on the Dolphins producing high-end top fantasy football producers. That's why I'm staying away from their running back situation. It's a slew of a committee. I'm not sold on. Tua can run the ball himself as well. So Jalen Waddell, again, based on draft capital situation and possible rapport here with Tua in the NFL, I'm looking at the situation saying, hey, there could be an opportunity here for a guy you get for huge value on your fantasy football roster and you don't have to pay much there. But I'm telling you, from these five, all five could go off, one could go off, two could go off. We don't know, but I'm telling you, one, at least one or two of these guys is going to be a name that's going to be talked about this season on an extensive level, whether it be fantasy and reality. I'm telling you, there's a huge opportunity for St. Brown, Elijah Moore, these guys have a little, little barrier of depth chart. Like, they're, they're, the guys above him, we're not talking Julio Jones. Now, Julio Jones, the time of this recording, still hasn't landed on a team. There's a chance he could be traded. 
that's going to vary a couple of these these guys. If he ends up on the Dolphins, obviously it's going to affect Waddell. If he ends up on the Eagles, wherever he ends up on any of these teams, obviously it's going to take away a ton of volume from these guys. But based on the situation now, it looks good for these guys. Secure them on your roster for absolutely free with some potential wide receiver one upside there for fantasy and reality. Beyond excited here, guys. Wide receivers are where it's at. There's five solid names for you that could be the next Jefferson the next year where people are going to be drafted in top 15, top 10. This could be it. Now, there is other guys, Tutu Atwell from the Rams. There's a bunch of other names I could mention, but these are five that really stuck out to me that could be good value and have that nice ceiling for you, okay? Subscribe, leave a thumbs up. Make sure you guys do get the 16-round draft solution. Help support the channel and gives you guys all of the answers all in one spot to help you draft that optimal roster. First ever and only video training, manscaped.com. Use promo code SHOWERLION, and I am out. Thank you guys for being here. I appreciate you. Click subscribe. I'm out.